Once again, Greenpoint Cricket Club hosted four days of Food Nirvana. The Mother City's dedicated foodies feasted from last week Thursday till Sunday. Katlejo and Chef Zola joined in. What more could you ask for? Yet another gorgeous day in Cape Town. And we're at the sixth annual Pick and Pay Taste of Cape Town Festival. Loads of excitement. Exactly. And there's so much food available, each of course with a signature twist by each of the chefs. Now here at the festival, crowns are the currency of taste and each crown costs five rand with the dishes ranging between four and eight crowns. So it makes it much easier for you to shop around. No mess, no large notes or coins, no fuss. Exactly, we like no fuss. And we like that each dish is served as a starter portion. So that of course means we can eat more. Now today, we're going to be putting our taste buds to the test. I'm going to pick three dishes for Zola and she's going to pick three dishes for me. And let's see who knows their food best. 11 of Cape Town's best restaurants convened at the event with their seasoned chefs and most flavorful dishes. First, the duo browsed the brilliant selection and indulged with a small Amuse Bush palate cleanser. Oh, the lollies are finished. I know, but at least we're cooler. <sighs> yeah, so here we are. Yeah, here we are, finished with our lollies. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, Kat, we've had a good look around. You know sort of where everything is now. Yeah. We've had a lolly, we were fresh. It's time to get down to business. Chef Zola has a practice palate, so Katlejo picked Madras fish curry from the Chewel of India, the Snortfus and sea cucumber from the Boathouse that we featured on Espresso, as well as duck liver cream from Azure. I am here. Are you ready? I'm ready. I've got three fabulous dishes that are going to tantalize your taste buds. All right, here we go. First one. I'm going to okay. catch a piece of this for you. Okay. Absolutely delicious. Straight. Mmm. Uh, uh. Oh, spicy. It's definitely fish, hey? Uh-huh. Oh, it's quite thinny. Oh, it's spicy. <laughs> oh, oh. Mustard? Oh, my word, you're amazing. Boom! Okay. It's a really, really big one. You have to open wide and tilt your head back. Wait, Kat, what are we doing? Very wide. Okay. Tilt your head back. Oh, it's, a, it's an oyster. No, no. <laughs> it's actually going to be very nice. Mm -hmm. There we go. Mm -hmm. And that's what they call the? Snotfus. Oh, whoa. OK, respect, respect, but I think the last one is really going to get you. Open wide. Uh-huh. Yeah, bite. Pear. Is that liver? You tell me. It's duck liver. Oh, I don't, okay. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you survived my taste test. You can take your blindfold off. That was a difficult one, Kat. Oh, gosh. I'm glad you survived it. Zola's turn, and she headed straight for mussels in a chilli broth from Brasserie, 24-hour braised lamb from Dash and a decadent caramella creme with pear crumble ice cream from Signal Restaurant. Hey, you here? ready? I hope so. Are you scared? I'm very scared. You look a little scared. I can't see anything, so... Okay, this is, this is a complex flavour dish. A complex flavour dish. Yes, but I'm trusting that you will recognise something. Open wide. Here it comes. Tell me what you taste. Mmm. Wow. Mm -hmm. Is that a muscle? It is a muscle. Point for you. Okay. You got muscles, but I want you to tell me what flavors you taste, okay? Another bite. Mm. Here it comes. Oh man, there's a, there's a spiciness to it, like yeah, a chili. Yeah, yeah. yeah, you got it! You got it! You got it! You got it! Okay. Okay, ready for the next one? Oh. Dish number two. Okay. Are you ready? Yes. Okay. <laughs> relax, relax, relax. Okay. okay. Here it comes. Tell me what you taste. Mmm, meaty. Uh huh. Is that mm, lamb? Oh, you got it first time. Oh, okay. Oh, lamb. Here it comes. Yeah, I look silly doing this. It's a big uh. one, so open wide. Chocolate flakes going on there somewhere. Mm -hmm. you're, you're, okay. you're getting there, okay? If you get this right, I'm gonna give it to you. Okay. Just tell me what this is. What is it? Would you, would you call it moussey? No, not moussey. Okay. No, but it is. <laughs> okay, moussey, you got it? You got it? <laughs> no. I'm don't. telling you. My scream, Kathy. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Wow, I must say, nice selection of dishes. Well done. Your taste buds are pretty profound there, Well, Kat. I do learn from the best. I, I must say, you are still the master of taste. Why, thank you. <laughs> While Chef Zola reigns supreme, another highlight of the event is the pick-and-pay wine and canapé experience. 
This is an interactive food theater where guests learn to create simple, stylish, and utterly delicious canapes under the watchful eye of Chef Chart. And the best part is, you get to taste it too. Our crowns are spent, our taste buds surely please, and I think that the mm -hmm. Cape Town Taste Festival has delivered on what is promised and a lot more. I know, we ate some really good food. We had an amazing session with Chart. Kat, did you learn, learn something? I think I could entertain about 20 people in a very, very 20? good way. 20? Okay. Yeah, you know, I'm one of those 20, I expect an invitation. <laughs> we'll surely be back again at the seventh annual next year, right? Most definitely. Oh man, I can't believe it was so good, <laughs> so good. Well done, Cape Town. SA, take note. The Taste of Durban takes place from the 26th till the 28th of July, and the Taste of Joburg will hit the City of Gold in September. By supporting the Flower Valley Conservation Trust, that's where we found goodness. Pick and pay, always there for you.